Hi, I'm Sheena Joy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this unicorn macrame wall hanging, so stay tuned. Don't forget to take a screenshot of today's pattern. Now let's get started. First, we're going to need to tie all 23 cords using a lark's head knot onto our wooden dowel. Quick tip, here is a faster way to tie a lark's head knot. You just fold it onto itself and then slide it on your wooden dowel. Once you've managed to get them all on there, it's time to start the bulk of our pattern. The majority of the knots we're going to be tying are vertical double half hitches. With a separate strand of blue cord, place it behind your first set of cords, making sure that your short tail end is on your left. Then you make a loop on your right, wrap it around, and pull your longer tail end through the loop. And then you do the same thing, you make a loop on your right, wrap it around, and pull the long tail end through the loop. And this completes your first vertical double half hitch. We just need to tighten it up and then slide it all the way up to the top of our project. Because our first knot always looks a little funky, I'll show you again. So we bring our cord behind our next set of cords, make a loop on our right, wrap it around and pull our tail end through the loop. Then we pull it up near the top of our work and then repeat the same process, a loop on our right, wrap it around and pull our tail end through and then pull it up to the top. And that is a vertical double half hitch. Once we get to the end of our row, we're gonna have to go back in the other direction. To do this, pull your working cord back behind your filler cords, make a loop on your left this time, bring it around and pull it through your loop. And then of course, repeat the same process, loop on your left, wrap it around and pull it through. If I'm going too fast for you, no worries. You can always adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Or feel free to check out my knot tutorial playlist. I'll link it for you in the card above. Okay, to add another color, we're just gonna do the same thing we did when we started and just attach a separate cord. Also, if we run out of cord, this is the same thing that we have to do each time and that's just attach another piece. Okay, I'm gonna motor along a little bit here and then I'll show you how to swap out cords a little bit better. Okay, so for the unicorn, I decided to go with bulky yarn. I really like the fluffy texture of the bulky yarn, but if you really wanted to, you could just use regular single twist cotton cord. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a close up of swapping out cords and it's just as simple as that. You want to pull your cords behind your project and just swap them out and carry on just the same as before. This last weekend was my daughter's fourth birthday and she is currently obsessed with unicorns. So we have her to thank for this wall hanging. And I kind of like it. I think it's unique. What do you think? Alrighty, so for the main, I'm using three strands of just regular yarn. And all we're gonna do is tie an upside down tassel. To do this, you find the center of your yarn, you place it over top of your two filler cords, and then you pull the tail ends up between your two filler cords. This is the same technique that is commonly used to add tassels to macrame wall hangings. Only we're doing it upside down. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was pretty clever when I figured this out. <laughs> okay, I'll show you one more time. Put the center of your yarn over top of your filler cords and then pull the tail ends up through the middle of your filler cords. Once you have it secured, I find that it's easier to have the yarn up and out of the way when we continue on with the rest of our project. So I'm just going to carry on just like as we did before with our vertical double half hitches. Now that we've come back around here, I just wanted to slow it down again for you just so that you can see how I tie underneath the tassels. So we're gonna be tying vertical double half hitches below our tassels, but just be careful not to catch any of the yarn behind it. So this is pretty much the premise of this pattern. I'm gonna motor on through, but stay tuned to the very end because I'm gonna show you how to fix the mane.
Okay, so we made it. Before I show you my trick for the front part of the mane, let's flip it around and clean up the back. Now, the super professional way to clean up the back is to weave the ends all the way through your knots and behind, but that is really arduous and I just find it's easier just to tighten knots and snip it off. Nobody should be looking behind there anyways. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna give the mane a little bit of a trim so that it's straight. And if you wanted to, you could just leave the portion down, but I decided to braid it. My daughter is into Frozen like most little girls are, and she really likes braids, so I decided to braid the mane. To make a basic three strand braid, all you have to do is divide it into three, and then take turns alternating each side into the center. To secure the braid, I used a scrap piece that I just trimmed off and just tied it around the bottom of the braid. And I spun it around so that the knot portion was hidden in the back. With a small piece of fishing line, I folded it over to form a loop and then I threaded it through our work. And then I pulled our front main section through the loop and used the fishing line to pull it all the way in through the back. This was a little bit tricky, rocking it back and forth really helped it go through. So make sure that you make your adjustments here and get it just how you like it before you flip it over and tie it off in the back. So I decided just to loop it through and then snip off some of the excess. It doesn't really need to be tied, just up and out of the way. That way if you wanted to change it up later, you still do have the option. And finally, we're gonna make the last trim at the bottom. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next one. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Kaylee! Yeah. Happy birthday yeah. to you! Blue, blue! One, two, one.